Damn, I don't know if I like this. <laughs> uh, but either way, I gotta get it done because I wanna upload this video. Um, so what's up guys? Right now I'm in my room and uh, today I'm gonna be showing you guys a little tutorial. Something quick and easy that you can do at home. Uh, you don't really need any specialized tools for it. Uh, as you're about to see, I did it with a butter knife and some dollar store precision screwdrivers. <laughs> so yeah, but today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do a rear fog light mod on your E90 series. So that includes E90s, E91, 2, 3, all that. Is there an E91? I'm pretty sure there's an E91. I don't know. I'm bugging out. But um, yeah, so it's like really simple and uh, just a little bit information on why you should do this mod or why you have to do this mod. So for the E90 series in Europe, the light switch has a uh, rear fog light button, but for due to US regulations in order to sell the cars over here, that feature can't be, you know, can't be given. So what BMW did essentially is instead of including that light, it's the same light switch, it's just that you can't push the button and the button doesn't have a symbol on it. And that's the only difference. Like the E90 series is still wired for that functionality. So all you have to do is a quick, simple mod. So that way you can actually use that button and you don't have to do any wiring or anything crazy like that. And the reason why you would want to do this mod is like, this is a perfect day actually, because I wanted to film this part outside but there's a major thunderstorm going on right now. But like, yeah, you you would use it in like inclement weather. So like thunderstorms, fog, like heavy fog, snowstorms, stuff like that. So that way people behind you can see you better and it's more visibility. And trust me, like that, that shit gets bright. Like I was on, the other night I was on a dark road and I turned it on and like you could see for a good distance behind you. So um, yeah. And so I'm gonna take you over to the video. All right, so basically I'm gonna be using a butter knife and I'm gonna use the back end. And if you really wanted to, uh, the original, originally when I first did it, I used uh, plastic to uh, keep it from damaging the trim, but um, yeah. So if you wanted to, you can mask it or whatever, but yeah. So just be careful, that's all. And then this is gonna come out as one piece. There's nothing to unclip or anything like that. Set that aside, and then you wanna come here. Basically, do the same. And then there's gonna be a, a little um, connector tab here. So you just press this down, flick the gray down, and then as you flick the gray down, it'll push out the uh, connector. And that's how you remove the um, switch panel. So now that you have the switch assembly out of the vehicle, all you're gonna need is, well, you don't really need it, but I recommend picking up some precision screwdrivers. Honestly, this is a pair, this is a set from um, Deals. Uh, you can find these at Dollar Tree, Deals, Family Dollar, 99 cent store, they're like a dollar, two dollars. These aren't like the best, but they get the job done. All right, so now that you have the switch, obviously if you wanted to, you could also, switch this piece out, this knob, for the uh, one with the chrome trim, but I'm not doing that. For this mod, you you don't have to remove this outer trim, but sometimes it makes it easier. So the tabs that you wanna focus on, or, sorry, I'm trying to get it to focus, are these tabs up top, and these two little tabs on the bottom. And removing this faceplate actually does help a lot because as you can see, the tabs are inwards, so it's kind of hard to slide something up in there without breaking anything. Remove the faceplate, so all you gotta do is these two big tabs and then these two little tabs right here. I'm gonna use the screwdriver to get under there, and there we go. Just slide, You just slide it under there and then slight pressure up. There you go. And then for these, I might not have to... Okay, I'm gonna use it just so I don't break things. I usually break tabs, so that's why I'm just trying to be extra precautious. But yeah, so I'm gonna move that, and it comes off really easy. So once you got that faceplate off, the tabs that you need to worry about are one, two, three, four, and then this tab as well, and then this tab as well. So once you get those off, 
should be a fairly process so you can use the precision screwdrivers but uh, I'm just gonna try to do it with my hands so I start by like undoing the tab the side tab so that way you know it doesn't keep everything clipping back in and as you can see it easily came off for me because I already I've done this before I just I'm just going back in to uh, change out a part so this will be glued on to that like uh, the sticker will seal it so the first time you do it you gotta just like gently pry it apart so yeah so then the internals come apart and then this is the pad so these are the buttons for the for the front fog lights and then these are for the rear and in order to uh, keynote in order to effectively do this mod you have to have something that makes contact with both of these buttons and pushes it in simultaneously pushing one in at a time doesn't doesn't um, activate the uh, fog lights so then as you can see here you have your uh, this is where your dial goes and then this is as you can see I already did this mod so I'm gonna I'm gonna include the clip of me um, actually removing the button and stuff but yeah so you can use a the a wooden dowel or a pen cap and a Lego mod I know that works this mod I just did it so that way I can see you know so I, I can have something in the meantime and then this is the this is what comes with these buttons so what I went ahead and did well I didn't really do it I just stumbled upon it by luck sorry about that is I found another one of these from a wrecked E90 and the guy was like parting out one of the um, the light switches so I just asked him if I could buy this so yeah in order to release the button there's a tab on the top and a on the tab on the bottom so you're gonna need like a small screwdriver like one of these I just need to release it boom here we go I don't know if you guys seen that but yeah there's two tabs all right so once you go ahead and get those off you're just gonna go ahead and cut those little tabs those little notches that you see sorry it's kind of out of focus but yeah just cut those off with like a straight razor or whatever and then we're gonna go on to replicating this this piece somehow so basically you can use foam like hard foam or anything all right so to in order to cut the clips what you can use is a straight razor or a knife but I'm just gonna go ahead and use a uh, nail set and file trim because <laughs> I feel like this is something that everybody has in their house or has easy access to at least the, the uh, nail clipper thingy so then yeah so Pretty soft plastic. Just cut that stuff off. And it makes a clean cut, so you don't. I don't even have to sand it down. But I just want to. Just want to be careful because you can end up getting too much. Oh damn, that's really smooth. You can end up getting too much and then actually cracking the button. So, like this for instance, got a little bit too much. But yeah, so you know just cut them all down and then now we're gonna go on to replicating this part this is what I had originally and it wasn't all that great I didn't well it worked but I didn't like it you know it was just a pen cap and pieces of my old license plate cut out with some velcro in it so yeah I didn't really like that with this if you actually if you end up sourcing the, the rear fog light button has a has a like a little emblem on it or a little sing symbol on it and if you end up sourcing that button this will allow you to uh, have that light shine through so this always lights up both of them lights up it's just that obviously since you don't have the symbol there's no light that's gonna be coming through here which I don't really mind I mean I would love to have the button but I don't really mind because I don't I don't want to spend $150 for a whole new European uh, light switch assembly when the only difference is that I'm gonna have like a symbol on my button all right so now this is the original there to reassemble it there's like a little notch and you just follow that with the internal notch and then I'm gonna insert mine my other one there we go yeah I was just doing something wrong so then put those two together and then just reassemble this making sure that the dial goes back into the uh, to the hole just clip it together make sure everything clips test your buttons well this is much more responsive than the original thing that I had inside all right so then you just grab your faceplate making sure you got the right side up 
and there's gonna be like little tabs and grooves which will not allow you to put it in if it's the wrong way there we go and boom and then just to make sure that everything is in there nice and solid because as you see the bottom didn't really clip in so just go in there you go you might feel like you're breaking it but you're not and then just test it and boom everything's back together so now we're gonna go back to the car and just reinstall the clip like this and as you're pushing down you'll see that this comes back up lock it in place and you just push it back in and then you're gonna go ahead and grab your vent and put it back in there too Okay, and then to test it, just gonna go ahead and turn on. So in order for the rear fog light to work, you have to have either your headlights on or your fog lights on. So if I turn it on to this, which is like the daylight running, daylight running lights or whatever you wanna call them, if I push this button, it won't do anything. And yes, I know I have a whole bunch of lights on. <laughs> but if you push the fog light button, it turns on the fog lights and then it, you can turn on your rear facing fog lights so as you can see I'm pushing the button and yeah and then if you turn on your headlights you can turn them on without having to turn on your fog lights so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what they look like using this like on a normal drive I only recommend this for like pictures or for like when the weather is really bad so like um, you know fog rain shit like that snow but like yeah it looks really nice and it's clean <laughs> all right so you guys watched the video and got an understanding and I'm sorry the way that this video is formatted like it's kind of weird because I, I filmed it over like the course of three days uh, originally I did the mod and I did the uh, the pen cap with the license plate and velcro thing that you guys seen but I didn't really like the stability I didn't like the feel of the button so I ended up by chance being able to source the actual uh, insert that goes into the uh, to the switch so I went back in and redid it and retook some shots so um, but yeah um, I understand that you know it's a work in progress with these uh, videos so I understand that it might be a little bit weird or hard to follow at some points or you can't really see and I do apologize for that uh, this video didn't come out as well as I hoped it would but hopefully you know like as I start as I keep doing this it'll get better and better as I you know I get down my style you know if that makes any sense I can't really speak English but like I, hopefully as I keep doing this I'll like you know get more comfortable in front of the camera and doing things in front of the camera and become more patient because I also have a problem with impatience where if I start something and I have a slight delay I don't really want to like I'm like damn I really want to get this done like forget filming for a little bit like let me get this done so that's a bad habit it's like a good habit but it's a bad it's not a good habit in the sense that I want to make videos but it's like I don't know I just want to get you know you start something you just want to see the end product you just want to get there and it's like sometimes like I have these vi these visions in, of videos and plan and I don't really execute them well because I'm like I want to do it this way, this way, this way, but then when I start doing it, it's like, damn, I, I can't wait. Like, let me just get this done. But like, yeah. So thank you guys for watching, and let me know if you guys want to see more uh, tutorials or like how tos and um, you know what I can do to improve, obviously. And yeah, thank you for watching, and have a good one, guys.